Hello and welcome to another video with me, Helmo J. Karjalainen, and it's good to have you along. This is a bit different, because this is an old video with a new intro. Uh, yes, uh, I'm taking a look at the Marshall Code 50 again. Yes, this is the third time I'm doing this. Actually, I've already done it. Way back in the infancy of this channel, I did a review of the Marshall Code 50 and I thought it was terrible. And I got a lot of stick for that, which is fine. If you want to be offended by a review of an amplifier, by all means be offended by it. <laughs> Still, it boggles my mind. Um, anyway, I also got some constructive criticism, which is great. Uh, send in constructive criticism, that's always welcome. Uh, so, I tried a few of the things that I was told I should try, like switching the cab sim off, and uh, I did a second video, and I still didn't like the amp. It got marginally better, but I still thought it was terrible. So, I got more stick for that, <laughs> like I already knew I was going to get. Now, in the comments of both those videos, I was, uh, I was told that I should have a look at Johan Segerborn and how he makes the Marshall Code sound like a Marshall Plexi. Now, if you don't know Johan Segerborn, he's a Swedish YouTuber who has a, a nice channel, uh, mainly devoted to old Marshalls, and he's an authority on Marshall Plexis, or it seems to be. Uh, and he has some very good videos. Now, I had a look at that video, the one about the Marshall Code, making it sound exactly like a Marshall Plexi, uh, and there were a few problems with it right from the outset. Um, but I decided I'd try to do what he did. So I recorded a third video, which never aired because I was kind of of two minds. Do I want to kind of revisit this thing, uh, but I thought, why the hell not, uh, I have it done, so I thought I'd just do another intro, so you're not just wondering why does this old thing keep popping up again with any, without any kind of explanation. So this is the explanation, and what follows is the video that I did back then, or most of it, I'll just cut out the intro from that one, and uh, yeah. Like I said, if you haven't checked out Johan Segerborn, or I think I said that, if you haven't checked out Johan Segerborn, do check him out. I'll put the link in the description because, it, because he has a very nice channel. Uh, anyway, this is giving the Marshall Code a third chance with the Johan Segerborn Marshall Plexi settings. I hope you enjoy this one. And hey, if you hate this video, hmm, why not keep it to yourself? And if you're really offended by a gear review, why not get a life? Oh, and before I get going, um, it'll be loud. I have this on full and I have this on full, so there will be no talking in between because this is going to be making a lot of noise. So I've dialed in Johan Segerborn's uh, settings for the Marshall Code, and I'm running my regular type of settings with the Plexi. So, uh, without further ado, let's see what it sounds like. Oh, and I have the microphone backed up way, way back so that you get an equal representation or it picks up the same amount from both uh, this one and the Plexi. So, let's get going. Oh, and one other thing uh, I forgot to say, I'm going to do it clean first, so no overdrive pedals, and then I'm going to add the Fender Ingve Malmsteen overdrive um, and see what that does. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so uh, before I do anything else, I have to say this. Uh, Johan Segerborn is no idiot. He has a cool channel. I really like his channel. Uh, and um, what he did was uh, he explained he had to drop the tone uh, with the tone pot of the guitar because this was so harsh. So uh, I had my tone all the way open, so it was quite shrill and it didn't like the overdrive pedal at all. Uh, but I've dropped tone now, so I'll see what it sounds like now. Okay, so here's the deal. I don't think this sounds anything like this. I wasn't expecting it to, but I'm not sure what it'll sound like when I listen back to it. Um, Johan Segerborn, uh, like I said, he's no idiot. He got some good sounds out of it, and it gets better when you fiddle with the tone knob. But when you A and B the two things, hey, there's no comparison. Absolutely none. And why should there be? This one costs, what, 200? 50 euros, the 50 watt version, why would it sound like uh, a proper plexi? It just won't. Um, Johann Segerborn's video was uh, entitled something like uh, getting the Marshall code to sound exactly, uh, and exactly was in capital letters, like a Marshall plexi. Uh, now, the, the real other reason why I'm doing this video is because I got a comment from someone uh, on my original Marshall Code video, I got a bunch of comments from people who didn't very much like that. Uh, and this was the comment. I'll read it to you for your amusement. Um, sorry about that. So, receding hairline bearded ponytail dude is giving tone advice. He probably still rocks a 2001 Nokia cell phone because of an iPhone, because an iPhone has too much everything. If you own this amp, you'd know this setting was effed up. You cannot emulate a cabinet sound with this single speaker amp. If he'd simply selected a single speaker setting, he'd have got the tone he wanted. Well, uh, I've done that now, so uh, no luck there. I have the 100H, that's the head version, that I play through a vintage Celestine 4x12 cab, and it's effing gnarly. It blows the walls off every bar gig she plays. Well, anything that's 100 watts will blow the walls off for any bar gig you play, you stupid moron. Uh, and then he goes on. Try it. Don't take this wanker's word. There is a Scandinavian dude who dialed in the plexitone on his code 50. Search YouTube for it. Well, um, I had a look at this guy's channel. I normally don't uh, 
kind of engage in this kind of stuff. But I had a look at this guy's channel and uh, <laughs> true to form, he had two videos. Actually, tr two videos is more, two more than these kinds of commenters usually have. But none of them had to do with music. They had to do with his barbecue. Uh, so, yes, uh, actually, I am giving tone advice. This doesn't sound like this. And I bet, I'm betting if you asked Johan Segerborn what he thought, does this sound exactly like this, he would say, no, it doesn't. Um, or he would say it in his Swedish accent, no, it doesn't. Um, he was making a video and the title was kind of semi-clickbait and this dude has fallen for its 12 head, head first and everything. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I am giving tone advice because I've been doing this now for, well, I don't remember how long. I was 11 when I started and I have got some credentials, so screw you. Uh, it doesn't sound like this and it won't. Yeah, that's my kind of video response to the nasty comments. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know why people expect this to sound exactly like this. Uh, I was hoping it would sound decent, I don't think it does. I think it sounds terrible. And if you have to fiddle with the tone knob just to get uh, a decent sound like Johan Segerborn did, then there's something wrong. Um, I can try dialing back treble because it's incredibly harsh. So this is what happens. I have treble just under halfway, mid up on full, bass all the way almost down because it starts farting and everything and mid all the way up and gain was very low so now I have treble all the way down and it sounds like this <laughs> Now, uh, if this was a proper amp, it would have an external speaker out so I could test it with the cab, but it doesn't because it's a toy. So, um, yeah, I'm not expecting a 4x12 sound out of this small thing, but I am expecting something and I've played all kinds of combo amps as well and I've gotten some great tones out of those. None of, none of them have been a plexi tone, but they've been great tones and this doesn't do great. That's my long and short of it. So I've now done three videos on <laughs> this thing and I'm not going to do any more. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and comment. Let me know what you thought and subscribe. And especially if uh, I've reached you, the person who commented on my original Marshall video, feel free to let loose in the comments below. I'm awaiting eagerly more of your barbecue videos. Um, yeah. And subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell notification thing. And uh, yeah, support me on Patreon because I buy the gear that I review. So you get an honest review. And this honest opinion, this thing blows. Even for 200 and something euros, uh, you should get a Katana, uh, which is a much better amp than this. Uh, even though I don't like the Katana too much either. But, uh, and on a final note, go check out Johan Segerborn. He's a cool cat uh, very nice videos and he has uh, he seems to be really a guru of the old type uh, vintage martial stuff so i'm gonna end with just saying goodbye because i can't be bothered playing this anymore and yeah i don't want to embarrass this any further by playing this either because this just sounds so great because someone will be offended because they bought the code <laughs> they'll be offended if I say any more bad things or make it feel bad. So, that's all I have for you today. Take care. See you in another one. Goodbye!